What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building an Indonesian train. So uh, some people, they've been asking for another Indonesian train, it's been a while. So this is the Tokyo 8500, and it's a commuter EMU uh, 8 car train set, and it was sold to Indonesia, and it serves in the KRL in uh, Jakarta, and this is a pretty long train, and we can see there's pantographs on top. You know, some of the cars, they have it, some of them don't. So there's two end cars. One end car does not have a pantograph, but if you see uh, in the front, that has one like that. So we'll be going over that. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, get started. So first off, we're gonna make like the bottom part. So uh, to do that, we're gonna take uh, gray concrete. Go, let's see, go right over here. put like that and uh, we're gonna make it so that it is 30 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 and go back to the back of course And uh, I should let you know that the first car is 30 blocks long, but the second car, it is uh, 29 blocks long, just in case. All right, so then we're going to add the wheels. So uh, to do the wheels, let's see if it's the same. Okay, go over here. And uh, we're going to skip these two blocks and place a hopper right there. Skip two, add another hopper. Go back to the front. And you know what? I'm just gonna chop this off and put it on later because I'm gonna reuse the same thing right here for the second car. So I don't want to confuse you when you make it. All right. So then we're gonna skip two from here. Same thing. So two hoppers. Skip up two blocks. Two hoppers. Then add a two by two of stone slabs underneath it right there. And then we're gonna skip two right here. Add two slabs like this, and then skip a block two go to the other side and we're going to do the same thing that skip two right here rather yes yeah, skip two and then skip in one right here place it and then we're going to connect these two so it reaches the other side of the middle like that do the same thing like that okay so then we're going to take uh, stone brick stairs and we're gonna go where the wheels are, like the middle of the wheel, and to the outermost part, we're gonna place an upside down stone brick stairs like this. And I guess we'll just put it on that side. All right, so then we're gonna add stone brick stairs right over here in the front. So this part is actually different from the one in the back. Oh, I'm gonna have to change this later. All right, so then we're gonna add uh, stone brick uh, slabs again and we're going to extend it to reach this part where there is no slab underneath so just extend it like that in the front and I believe the back should be kind of similar yeah it reaches right here where this hole is you can just fill in the rest Okay, so then we're going to add this little block right here. It's a double uh, stone slab, so that's underneath the door. So we're going to have two doors in the middle, like that. And the last one. All right, so then after we do that, uh, we're going to go to this side. I wonder if... Yeah, it's the same. Okay, so we're going to use... Uh, yellow concrete and red wool for the striping so first off yellow concrete red yellow then skip to yellow red yellow red yellow and then we'll have that part so let me just do both sides first before we get into this part Okay, so this middle part, we're actually going to fill this in with uh, stone brick slabs like this. 
should have done that earlier. Okay, so then we're gonna uh, continue this pattern. So it's gonna be red right here. Then yellow. Let me just do the yellow first. So yeah, we're gonna continue this uh, striping pattern and then we'll reach this door right here. So skip those two blocks. The yellow again, let's add three yellows. Then the red parts. Then we're gonna skip two blocks here and add a red bar right there, like so. All right, so once we do that, let's add the door. So we're gonna take iron door, place these uh, double doors. So there's gonna be like four doors, well, four double doors on the sides. So we're gonna add that right now. Okay, and then let's add the windows. So for the windows, I use a uh, black stained glass block. So three of them right here. And we're just gonna have them like in, in between the doorways like this. And there is one tiny window right here at the back. All right, so then we're gonna go right above this door and just the fort, first door. And we're gonna place a polished andesite block and line up the sides with that. To reach the back and then we can place one down there. Same thing on this side. All right, and then we're gonna place one of them right here on that red wall. All right, so let's uh, make this roof part. So we're gonna take a stone, just stone slab, just go over here, fill in this area with the stone slabs all the way across. To the back. Okay, so uh, once we finish off that part, uh, we could add some of these units on top. So they're mostly facing this direction. All right. So <laughs> I hope I'm doing this right. I don't want to mess up. All right. So I'm gonna like improvise kind of. So go over to here to this front door. Place it on the last one of the first pair, just add a double stone brick or just stone slab like that. And another one here. And then there's another one here. And there, we're just gonna leave that part alone for now. Okay, so what else can we do before we actually make the first car? All right, so let's actually make the gangway so we're going to take a stone slab, just add three of them right here on the sides. Then we're going to take stone brick slab, just make this double and, and add a flooring right here. And then we're going to add a gray wool right here. Let's add well two by two and then on top of that a stone brick slab like so. Alright, so that's going to be the first car or rather the basic one and now I'm gonna clone it so that we have two of them so I can work on this later alright so I just cloned this so that we have two of them and you can see that it's kinda of incomplete but don't worry about that so first off for the front car we want this uh, head to look like this so to make that we're gonna take uh, red wool go over here and add four blocks on top and we're gonna add red wool uh, right here on this block. Then we're gonna add two of them going down like this look a little pillar. And let's add some windows using black stained glass block. Two of them in the front and on the side there will be a door for the driver to get in right there. Okay, then we're gonna add some more red wool down here, just add uh, two of them. 
like this, and we're gonna extend this uh, gray concrete by one. Then under here, more red wool, and the sides will be acacia stairs. Then let's add a coupling. I'm gonna use nether brick slab for that, right there. Then we're gonna take yellow concrete, add a little stripe going across the sides, and put an iron door right here and this is going to be our middle part another yellow wool I mean yellow concrete right there and then gray concrete up there then we're going to take signs and add them right here in the front top corners then we're going to take a stone button and add some lights right there okay so then uh, let's fill in the rest of the roof part with a uh, stone slab. And then uh, we're going to start working on these boxes. So uh, we're going to extend this by one right here towards the front. And the other side will be uh, bedrock. Like this. Same thing with the uh, next one. Alright, so the box after that is going to be a little different. It's going to switch sides and it's going to be crammed together because there's a pantograph right there. So for this one, I'm going to place a uh, bedrock right there in front of it, stone slab after it, and then skip a block and repeat the same box again. Alright, so the box, it's going to be covered with uh, light gray carpet, all four of them. And these boxes, they're uh, pretty much the characteristic ah, characteristic of this train that's what I noticed and they're like on every single car okay so then we're gonna add some uh, pink so we're gonna add pink wool and this is because the first car is like a woman's only car so I have like this pink ma marking well it's pink sign and we're just gonna fill it on all along <clears throat> like this the other side. The other cars, they will not be pink, so you don't have to worry about your whole train being pink. <laughs> okay, so after we do that, let's add uh, red carpet. And just add that four blocks in the front. And then we're going to take light gray carpet and just cover up this uh, red part on the side so we only have it in the front area. All right, so after we do that, uh, let's uh, add this pantograph. So uh, to make the pantograph, let's take stone, stone brick slab. Just add one in the middle right here. Actually, there is no middle, <laughs> so add it one to this side. I, I made it. I made it so the pantograph is leaning towards this side. So it doesn't really matter which side because this is four blocks wide. So I just picked a random side for that. So then after we have the, the center, it's going to align with the pink wool, and then we're going to have four corners of this uh, stone brick stairs like this. Then we're going to have iron bars on top of the stairs. Then we're going to extend it by one outwards like this. Just add another iron bar above the original one. Okay, and then we're going to add the actual connection right here. I'm going to use iron trap door for that. So that's like three blocks in the middle like this. That's the pantograph design. All right, so after we do that, um, let me see. Oh, yeah, we need to change up this part. Down here, we're going to add another acacia wood stairs curve like this. And below this stairs, we're going to add a stone brick slab like that. Just so we can have like this nice little ladder. And we'll also have another one underneath the stairs right there in the back. Like so. And that should be pretty much it for the first car. Now the second car. Let's uh, get into it. So uh, we're going to go remove this stairs right here in the front. Take that out and put uh, stone brick slabs instead and the stairs for this side it's going to be underneath the first door like that so we're going to take that up down uh, place the stone brick stairs and then slab underneath it then once we take it out the iron door is going to be missing so 
Uh, we have to replace that. Okay, so let's uh, build this section here. We're just gonna continue this uh, red and yellow stripe like that, and there will be a window right here. And we're gonna take uh, polished andesite, add that around the section right there, and let's extend the rest of the roof to this part. So it looks like that. And uh, for this middle parts, we want to fill in these holes. The file polish and site, make it nice and gray. Just adding it throughout. Do the other side. And the last one. Okay, so now let's add these boxes. So these boxes are like, um, I think they're supposed to be evenly spaced since they're above all the doors. Unlike these, this front one with the pantographs. So to make it, we're going to take bedrock, add it in the front of this, like that, all of them, and since we didn't make the back one, well, let's add it right now, then we're going to add a 2x2 two two of a stone slab after the bedrock, so make that all the same, then we're going to cap it off with a uh, light gray carpet like so and have it on all of them. I'm going to show you all the cars uh, after we finish this car, how different they are. And wow, is that pretty much it? I don't know. All right, and then you would add another connection and you would have to add six more cars. So now after we're done with this, which we are, uh, let me show you. So what I have for this train set is the first end car. It's going to have a pantograph. Then we're going to have uh, middle car intermediate one and it's gonna be normal another normal one and then this one has a pant craft so you can see like this part is squished in together like this so it's kinda like the same as the front one actually I did change <laughs> the direction of this I'm not actually sure if this is accurate I mean not that part but this part right here so I did it like that I don't think it matters that much though so uh, you can see like this part these boxes are like shoved together so we have one of these pantograph cars normal intermediate car another pantograph middle car and then normal and then a normal end car with no pantograph so yeah that's uh, pretty much it on how to build the Tokyo uh, 8500 commuter EMU for KRL in Indonesia. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please remember to hit that like button below and if you haven't already please subscribe because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.